Today I'm going to share with you a super luxurious velvet haul. So I am super super glad that velvet is in and trendy again because I have quite a bit of it in my closet. Um, I'm glad you can find it everywhere now and I can be super trendy when I wear it and no one will look at me like what is she wearing and I love its vintage vibes. The first items I'm going to show you just have a little bit of velvet detail and I'm of course saving the best few items for last for the grand finale. So let me get started. So this first piece is just this super cool almost Victorian looking top and it just has black velvet trim and I bought this at a resale clothing shop a couple of years ago for maybe like 10 bucks which is a good deal because the brand is Anna Sue if you've ever heard of that and despite having this for a year or two I've actually never had a chance to wear it just because it's a little bit different and a little bit out there which is what I love about it but it's also hard to pair with anything so if anyone has any ideas on what to wear that with I would be super appreciative I was thinking of maybe putting it with some vintage like high-waisted denim it would be great with a camisole necklace so just let me know what you think I love this piece cannot part with that <laughs> and so this next item also just has this burnt orange velvet trim and it's vintage Calvin Klein denim and I always wear the same thing with this I have a outfit it's a printed orange maxi dress and I just put this over it and put some cowgirl boots with it and I always get tons of compliments on it um, especially on the vest because it's so unique you can't really find a lot like it and it's that great vintage denim like has anyone else noticed denim these days it all has that stretch material which I don't know if it's because we really don't fit like good classic denim anymore or what but I personally love a good old-fashioned vintage denim and this next item I was super glad to find at Goodwill for only like six or seven bucks it's just this black velvet maxi dress and it kind of has those witchy goth vibes which I can play with it's just kind of a basic black velvet dress it'd probably be really expensive at somewhere like Urban Outfitters or even Forever 21 not six or seven dollars for sure and this next dress is a velvet version of a little black dress and this I've had in my closet for a long time four or five years probably I like to break this out every fall and winter pair it with some leggings or tights and I'm good to go it's pretty sexy probably because it's extremely short and definitely needs leggings with it last time I wore this was on a date night I just paired a big Victorian style necklace with it and some sheer black tights it was super cute and so these are velvet pants like how awesome is that I found these at Ann Taylor Loft I got them on sale for 20 to 30 dollars and they're in this very on trend and gorgeous cranberry color which I love to pair this color with a matching cranberry lip and these are super functional super warm and soft the softest pants I own great to wear when it's colder out um, they actually go with a lot you can pair them with cream navy black love those and so this I found at a little thrift shop right by my house it just has this velvet detail throughout and it was actually part of a three-piece set that was nine dollars but they wouldn't let me split it up so I bought the other two pieces it was a matching top and skirt and I tried them on but it was not flattering at all like maybe if I had a sewing machine and knew how to sew or had the patience for that I could make it cute or if I had just like a killer figure but sadly I have none of those things so this on the other hand I think we'll just make an outfit I plan to pair it with ripped denim and just a little lace camisole but that three-piece set it just made me look like a grandma like don't get me wrong granny chic's cool I love grandmas I love my grandma but mm -mm, do not do a three-piece set it has to be the right three-piece set 
And so this is what I actually found at Walmart. It's just this basic velvet cami in this like crushed velvet with lace trim. And I actually bought it because I thought it would go really well with that cover up I just showed you because I really love navy and maroon together. I think they're really complimentary. And this is pretty fancy for Walmart, y'all. Crush Velvet. They're stepping their game up. And so this one, I don't really remember where I bought, but I love it nonetheless. It's a velvet poncho, and it has this burnout material with fringe. It's a nice blanket, kind of. It's great for fall. It has these great fall colors in it. It's kind of iridescent and cool. And I just wear this with jeans. Like I really don't want to take this off right now, but I will. And so, what shall I show you next? These next three pieces are my favorites. They're some of the favorite items I have in my closet, period. So I guess I'll start with this dress. This is one of my favorite dresses. It's this high-low cranberry colored velvet dress with this low back and I wish I had one of those lace razor back bras because I think this would look great with that and I actually wore this one to a music festival I paired it with a black floppy hat lace up boots I actually wore this necklace with it as well as a black choker it was really cute and I also wore this over it and this is just one of my favorite things. I got both of these at a resale shop called Clothes Mentor. The dress was probably 16 or so bucks. This was around the same price, I believe. And this is also a velvet burnout material. It has flowers and butterflies that perfectly match that dress. It has those 70s vibes going on. It's super cool. It's like a work of art and I will never part with it. Even though I don't get a ton of wear out of it, I really love it. It looks great with jeans. You can throw it over a dress. And this is like a vintage Chico's brand, if you can believe that. Like, I don't know if you're familiar with the Chico's brand, but I'm surprised they had something like that. That is so cool to me. So this next item is my most recent velvet acquisition. I found this at the thrift store by my house. And right when I saw it, I was like, oh, I needed it. Um, I kind of hyperventilated a little. There was almost a scene. But it's just this full length black velvet jacket with fur trim and this gorgeous white embroidering, which I love black and white. As you can tell, I think it's classic and flattering on everyone. And this jacket's just bomb. It's super 70s. It's great. Um, it was a little expensive for a thrift store. It was $30. So whoever priced this clearly knew it was amazing to price it for that. And I knew it was too amazing to pass up because I would wait for a sale, but I didn't want it to go. So, you know, who really needs a significant other in the colder months when you have a full length black velvet jacket? No one really. Um, yeah, I love this. I'm just happy knowing that this resides in my closet. It's a work of art as well. So what do you guys think of velvet and my velvet pieces? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Are you not sure yet? Well, I think we should embrace it. Um, you can find it at Forever 21, Charlotte Russe, Target, or just hit up your local thrift store. I feel like they always have some velvet pieces. Some of them are questionable, but you just gotta dig through and find the gold, the velvet gold mine. <laughs> so guys, get you some velvet and please like my video and subscribe. See you later.